Clark, coming to you with part four of my commentary on the book of Aries. The subject of today is the third work and final work in The Path of Brilliance. Now it's uh, the whole focus of The Path of Brilliance has been on this moment, bringing you to this moment where you can generate the Catholic brilliance. <clears throat> this is, in many ways, a more difficult uh, process <clears throat> than what we've done to date. It's sort of like the logical conclusion of that process, but it is more difficult. Uh, it takes a greater stretch of your awareness and your your meditational abilities, shall we say. Um, this work begins with a meditation. It's very important meditation. Um, <clears throat> the basis of this work is the phrase, I am that I am. Okay? Now, it's not really a singular phrase. It's really four different phrases. The first phrase is I. And you're already familiar with that. The I. It simply exists. Okay? The second phrase is I am. Now, this isn't a, a, a directive. You're not directing anything when you say I am. It's a realization. It's the realization that the I has of its own existence, okay? And that's where the meditation at the beginning of this process is focused, on the I, uh, the transition between I and the realization I am. Okay, the third phrase is I am that. I am that. This is the I realizing that exists and that it has form, that it has specific form, okay? This is Bina. I am that, essential form. The I am is essential meaning because the I means something. It has meaning because it exists. Because it has being, it means something. I am essential meaning. I am that essential form. And the fourth phrase is, I am that I am. 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 Here <clears throat> is where the solitary self is realized. The I am that I am. Because each solitary self has its own sense of I am. Okay? but on a smaller scale than the I am, than the I has of its being, the solitary self has of its being, but it is on a smaller scale. So, I am that I am. It's a combination, it's a movement of awareness. The awareness of the I moving through these stages of self-realization, okay? So, this first meditation is that movement and transition of awareness, of the I-awareness to the awareness of itself existing. I am. And in that meditation of the transition between I and I am, the Catholic brilliance erupts and essential meaning is the result. 
Okay? So in this meditation, you have to make that transition between Kether and Chokmah, between Crown and Wisdom, between I and I am. And at that moment, the Catholic brilliance manifests as a central meaning. They go hand in hand. A central meaning is always there when the Catholic brilliance erupts. Catholic brilliance is that movement of awareness of the eye. And it follows all the way down throughout the whole body of your awareness. Okay? So, that first meditation, I to I am. And you have to come to understand that transition and experience the eruption of Catholic brilliance and the birth of essential meaning. You have to do, you have to achieve that before you can really move on to generating the Catholic brilliance. Because that's the heart of generating the Catholic brilliance and bringing it down, okay? So, the work of generating the Catholic brilliance, once you've mastered that I to I am, Okay, so we start as usual in the eye. <clears throat> and we quickly come down through the I am into the I am that in the greater self. Now, you're in your greater self, but you're in the greater self as your I, as the I. The I is standing within your greater self and experiencing your greater self. It is the I that experiences the greater self. Now you come down, you look down into your temporal mental body, solitary self, sentient self, and static self, the mental, astral, and physical bar parts of your being. You look down as the eye and you descend. You descend as the eye into your solitary self. Let's descend as the eye into your sentient self. Descend as the eye into your static self. So now, the eye looks through your eyes. It is the eye that experiences your three bodies. It is the eye that breathes. It is the eye that pumps blood throughout your body. It is the eye that is aware in your physical body in the temporal present moment. Your three bodies are filled with the eye and the Catholic brilliance. The Catholic brilliance follows you in that descent till you're in the physical present moment and it erupts into the physical present moment and you are surrounded by the Catholic brilliance. Now at first, the Catholic brilliance may be a, a foot in diameter. But as you spend time in the temporal present moment as the I, that size of the accumulation of Catholic brilliance increases and increases and increases. Okay? Now you let go of the I and let the Catholic brilliance dissipate. Okay, now that's very intense meditation, especially in the beginning. It becomes easier and easier and quicker and quicker. It takes less and less effort over time, but it takes a lot of practice. Once you have the Catholic brilliance surrounding your physical body, 
You can do whatever you want with the Catholic brilliance. You can direct it, you can infuse it with an idea or a will, um, you can impregnate anything with it, you can influence things with it. It is sort of universal substance. It exists everywhere in everything, so it is, I mean, it, it can affect everything. Nothing presents a barrier to the Catholic brilliance. It opens every substance, okay? So, spend a few minutes while you're in a state with the Catholic brilliance surrounding you. Spend some time with it. Try to understand it. It will teach you what you need to learn. But just focus on it. Understand it. Feel it. Un experiment with it. Use it. Okay? When you stop generating the Catholic brilliance, you can keep it around you and still make use of it. You can project it in your normal state of awareness, in your magical state of awareness, I should say, the combined physio astromental awareness. You can manipulate it as you would the fluids, uh, the vital energy, the elements, exactly the same, okay? It is stronger, more immediate, um, it is functional on every level simultaneously. You can, <clears throat> if you wish, as you're descending with the Catholic brilliance, you come into the greater self, you can have a charge of Catholic brilliance at the level of your greater self and work with it at that level. Similarly, when you come down to this, the solitary self, you can have a charge just around the solitary self and wield it from there. And the astral self, the sentient self, you can create a charge, an astral charge, and wield it from there. Or the physical self, the static self, and wield it from there. Okay. Now, the Catholic brilliance increases as long as you have the I present in the temporal temporal now. Um, as soon as you break that connection, the eye is no longer fully conscious in the uh, temporal present moment, the eye, the uh, Catholic brilliance stops increasing. It stays, but it stops increasing. Now, ultimately, this can be a very quick process with a lot of practice. It can be very brief, you can very quickly generate the Catholic brilliance in this way. Ultimately, you can draw the Catholic brilliance directly from the universe, because it exists everywhere. Unlike the Adonai light, which was a strictly humanoid uh, generation of light, it doesn't exist everywhere, the Catholic brilliance does. So you can accumulate it, you can uh, um, draw it from the universe at any moment. But that really takes mastery of this generating the Adonai light through yourself before you are capable of really pulling it directly from the universe. So, this generation of the Catholic brilliance is really a very high form of magic. I mean, these terms sort of limit as much as they express. Um, <clears throat> it's a very advanced form of magic. This is ultimately, in my opinion at least, as far as I can tell, uh, the, the whole purpose of incarnation is for the I 
to experience the temporal present moment through everything that exists um, directly and consciously. It, it is essentially I, I who is experiencing each moment of our existence, although we are not aware of it. We are not consciously the I experiencing each temporal moment. So the point of incarnation, of existence, is that we become consciously the I experiencing each present moment. Now many creatures in the universe do this automatically, but not humans. At least at this point in our evolution, it takes a lot of effort for us to be able to consciously exist as the I in the temporal present moment. So this process that you're going through here is an initiatory process. Every time you bring the I into the temporal present moment, You're completing yourself in a way. You take yourself forward uh, to eventually reaching a place, uh, a state of being that you can constantly manifest the I in the temporal present moment. When you reach that state, you're basically done, you know. <laughs> You've had enough incarnation to achieve what you needed to achieve. That takes a lot of work. That's all <laughs> a lot of work, a lot of repetition of constantly bringing the eye into the temporal present moment and generating the Catholic brilliance and spreading the Catholic brilliance in its pure, raw form. See, that's the thing. The Catholic brilliance is in everything. Everything is Catholic brilliance, ultimately. But it's not in its pure uh, form in the temporal present moment. It's never in its pure form unless we consciously bring it the I into the temporal present moment, then this is what erupts, is the Catholic brilliance in its purest form. Okay? That is what we wield in the magic of essential meaning, is the Catholic brilliance in its purest form. So, <clears throat> it's a very I really don't know the right words to use. I want to say it's the ultimate um, expression of magic. It's the ultimate expression of being. Um, something to be, to strive for achieving. Now, <clears throat> the radiators that I make radiate this pristine form of Catholic brilliance. Because the crystalline life forms have this natural ability. When they are combined and tuned in this specific way that I tune the radiator crystals, they continuously generate the Catholic brilliance. It's a crystalline form of achieving the same thing that we just achieved internally, okay? And I patterned it on the tree of life because the tree of life is a diagram, if you will, a picture of what it means to for the eye 
to be present, consciously present, throughout its being, in the temporal present moment, etc. Okay? So, <clears throat> your assignment <laughs> is to learn to first to make that transition between the I and the I am, the subtle shift of consciousness, of awareness. Now, it's a very creative moment when I realizes that it exists. Okay? First to achieve that, then to generate the Catholic brilliance throughout all the stations of awareness until you can generate it in the temporal present moment and do that over and over and over till it becomes easy and quick and learn from the Catholic brilliance what it can do, how it does things, what it does, what it's good at. Just learn from the Catholic brilliance everything that it has to teach you, because it will be a teacher. Every time you deal with the Catholic brilliance, every exposure you have to the Catholic brilliance takes you forward and teaches you things. It transforms you. Okay? So, next video, we'll start talking about the magic of essential meaning proper.